This lesson focuses on observing and understanding the common language used in the fields of research, campaigns, and advocacies. As you journey through this lesson, you are expected to gain a clear understanding of the language of persuasion and different language features employed when writing in these fields of interest. Language plays an essential role in our lives. More than just serving as a way for us to communicate with one another, language also enables us to inform, entertain, influence. Research makes use of a formal, academic, and persuasive language to communicate discussions and present corresponding findings for variables studied. Language greatly matters in research as it enables the researcher to effectively communicate valuable results to his or her target readers. Some, understanding the language of research can also mean becoming familiar and acquainted with terminologies usually associated with conducting research studies. These terminologies include theories, concepts, variables, hypotheses, lay and samples. On the other hand, campaign and advocacy are two closely related concepts usually seen in the form of speeches, print-based materials, songs, video clips, and informational advertisements, among others. A campaign, usually social or political in nature, is technically defined as a planned set of activities that people carry out to attain a certain goal or objective. Advocacy, meanwhile, refers to activities that argue, plead, support, or favor a certain cause. Various causes for advocacy usually aim to influence decision-making, especially with issues involving social, political, environmental and economic perspective. Here are some of the language features or language devices usually employed in persuasive writing.
Emotive language. This involves the use of words that evoke emotions and make people feel a certain way. Through the use of words that appeal to the emotion, the writer can sound more convincing. Modal verbs. The use of words that express modality or how likely something is going to happen helps adjust the level of certainty of events to suit arguments. When carefully chosen, these words may, might, will, must, shall, can, could, would, ought to help improve the quality of persuasive writing. Involving the reader. This is done through the use of personal pronouns like you, your, we, our, and indicative words like together. Using these words establishes a connection between the author and the reader. This way, the issue is made personal and more important to the reader. Rhetorical questions. These are questions that are not supposed to be answered. Instead, they are asked for effect, to illustrate a point or let the reader think. The use of questions that sometimes state the obvious can convince the reader to agree on the points being presented. Using evidence. This involves the use of facts, figures, or quotes from experts to highlight the writer's authority and make the arguments presented more convincing. Repetition. This technique involves repeating keywords, phrases, or ideas to appeal to the readers.
7. Adjectives and Adverbs Using carefully selected adjectives and adverbs makes it possible for the writer to influence how the readers feel. Association. This technique tries to link an object or an idea with something already liked or desired by the target audience such as wealth, success, pleasure, and security. Bandwagon. Commonly used in advertisements, this persuasion technique makes the audience believe the idea that everyone is doing it, or that everyone likes something. Experts. This means relying on expert advice from trusted people like doctors, scientists, and other professionals for things that the audience do not know. The idea that these experts are risking the credibility to support an object or idea makes the persuasion more effective. <laughs> 